Hello. Hi. Hi. Cool. Um, hi, I'm Lindsay. I'm a junior at Millard South. Um, and this is what I'm told. When I said I was Catholic, the anxiety crept in. Worried that people would assume that I'm okay with the oppression of women in this world, that I'm okay with slut shaming happening throughout my own classrooms, that I'm okay with all the hurtful words being spewed from the mouths of shameless sinners. I'm not sure who painted this picture of pain and labeled it Catholic. Catholicism, noun. A belief practiced by homophobes, Mennonists, and Republicans. Synonyms, hate, and white power. This misconception is spread over Facebook and Instagram and Twitter, people telling me my faith is something that it's not. A guy in the sky saying, be good or die. But soon, these words penetrated my ivory innocence, and I plummeted into a euphoria of deep velvet corruption. The liquid lies running down my throat stained like blood on a silk blankie. My being squirmed as though my soul craved release. My brain screaming, steaming, screeching, not breathing. It was the fall of Rome. It was the finale of How I Met Your Mother. It was your favorite character jumping off of a bridge. I had fallen flat after finally overcoming the snap. The shame shook into something new. I had abused the fragile doll I had been given and all hope of absolution was lost. Cynics crept in and battles began. Grace being overtaken by grotesque ideals. God speaking of restoration and them screaming of repression. It overtook what I knew and the shameless sinners continued to spew venom that trickled through my wounds and down my spine until I slurped their words as a replacement for my lack of scripture, forcing my dignity to be deprived and my life to be a lie. Spurts of subtle nectar grazed my tongue every once in a while, and one day I decided to dance down the flowing river. When I peer into the eyes of the golden host, I don't feel the bars being warped around my wrists. I feel the calluses on the finger. I feel the acceleration of my heartbeat. Tick, tick, to thump, thump, to pound, pound. My heart overflowing with a warmth so surreal. It must be an illusion. Yes, yes, it had to be the psychology of the sick brainwash I've succumbed to since the beginning, but once again, the rain runs out of my pores, and I'm caressed by those oh-so-familiar hands, and I hear the sniffles. Sniffle, sniffle, sniffle. They come in waves all their own. They overlap, and they appear in offbeats, but oh, the sound flows through my soul, creating a beautiful symphony of release and renewed perceptions. The sniffle shows that our sins don't define the ability of our souls to sing. Our mistakes make us miracles, created by someone so selfless he was willing to sacrifice himself. The realization that people with God can be and should be people of life and love and liberty is the realization that faith is freedom, not fear.